Now that I've ensured that the suction hose is clear and clean, ensured the foot valve has been pre-primed, ensured that the secondary valve and the piston is clear and clean and moves in the seat, I'll attempt to get the pump to prime again. So with the air on to the air motor, I can turn the regulator. So you notice that the pump settled down, it's not jumping anymore because the solvent is acting as a minor lubricant. And also to this valve here that I mentioned before, which is a dump valve, I know that that's working. So before I mix any paint and do anything, I make sure that this pump's working. So by exhausting it through the dump valve, I know that the pump has the capacity to pump. And also too, it's pumping in the appropriate manner in the sense that the piston's moving and dispensation is through the, via the dump valve. So what we need to do now is fill this line with that solvent. So as I mentioned previously, we take with the safety on, we take the tip end off, that exposes this section of the gun. Now, I can use a bucket if I wish to to spray that into. However, if I use a bucket, this is primarily solvent. Now if I open that gun with the solvent pressurised and coming out that small hole there, it'll tend to rebound. So what happens is the product will hit the edge of the bucket and rebound into my face. So not a good idea unless we put rag over the top and put the gun under rag. The more appropriate device is an empty solvent drum. It enables me to put the tip or the end of the gun into the drum. I can also put some rag around the end of the gun itself because now that we're compressing solvent, the last thing we want to ingest or breathe or have bounce back at us is solvent. So if I didn't have to talk to you, now would be a good time to put a mask on. By putting a mask on, you ensure that if you do atomise the solvent, you don't ingest it. Also too, by putting a mask on, if I am sweating profusely and I've atomised it within the environment, it, it saves getting it anywhere near my mouth. So, now that we know that this works, you can hear that the pump stops. So when the system's pressurised, the pump will actually stop of its own volition because it can only pump it up so far and stop. So the more air pressure I put over the air motor itself, the more pressure I'll generate through this fluid pump. So to ensure now that I can actuate the gun with the safety off, I'll open the trigger of the gun and solvents freely flowing through this entire system. So now what I have is a pressurised system. Now this safety becomes even more important. So I know that this pump will suck solvent I know that the dump valve works. I know that when I turn the safety off and actuate the gun, the air motor actuates, the fluid pump actuates, so it's all good. Happy days.